We're going to talk about the big three and what's the power in the big three. Come back and I'll explain it in just a second. Hi, I'm Dr. Ginger Bratzel from New Patient Attraction Automation and gingerbratzel.com where we help dental practices grow by working on management, marketing, and mindset so you can get and keep more patients. And we want to talk about it, doing it without the drama easily and quickly. And I want to talk to you about another business lesson that from McDonald's. And I've talked about McDonald's before, but this is one I really think is really valuable for you to look at. Now, Dick McDonald's, was one of the brothers of the McDonald's brothers and he was really good at watching what they were successful about. The McDonald's brothers had several restaurants and not all of them did great. They picked bad models, bad locations, um, the building they've actually had to move and cut in half in a different town. They had all kinds of stuff. It took them forever. They weren't overnight success. But when Dick really started looking at his numbers, when they were in the restaurant business and they were talking about what pissed them off and what they hated and was driving them nuts, then what they really liked, they find, started seeing some really good trends. And so when they looked at their business, they found out of all the things on their menu, only three of them were bringing in most of the revenue. And that was Cokes, fries, and hamburgers. So that's why they took everything off their menu except for those three items, because that was their most profitable, profitable, the easiest for the manage, and got really good at them. They de developed their systems. So why everyone's off shaking the next big thing and fear of missing out, which is called FOMO, fear of missing out, maybe you should just let them go crazy and focus on what's really going well in your office. First, you have to have the numbers to support it. So you, you have to have steady population and that's what the McDonald's brothers did. They had enough people that wanted just those three items so they can do that. Um, you have the systems in place to make sure you deliver and they've really done their research. If you do those things, then you will be more efficient in going in your office. So what can you let go of? Then it's easy to spend three plates, not so much to spend 36. What th three things can you really focus on in your practice? What three marketing things could you dive deeper in because you weren't paying attention to them, you were running all over and really do well. What three profit centers can you have? What three reactivation strategies do you have? What three things you can do? I've shared that I have my journal, my bullet journal. I have my three things I have to get done that generates income every day. My highly profitable things. And those change slightly, but that's all I have to worry about that day. If anything else in the world blows up, I'm pretty much, I can ignore it unless they're carrying me out in the stretcher and giving me CPR. The rest of it, just I ignore because everyone will try to draw me into their, their drama. If I focus on my three, I'll be fine. So what are your three? So what can you evaluate? It might be just a type of three procedures, three areas of your practice, three patient types, three marketing things. What are your big three? And I want you to go through and research and write down what you are going to focus on and give more dedication and dive deeper Instead of digging little holes all over, I want you to dig one deep hole right to your gold mine. Take care. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.